Less fuss, more fun. Gomo by Singtel. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are still here in the Singapore Polytechnic Sports Halls. And this in front of your screens now is the IVP Games Men's Floorball Final between the Nanyang Technological University in black and the Institute of Technical Education in red. This is our second match on offer. Earlier, you had the women's finals that just concluded. Congratulations to NTU for defeating Republic Polytechnic 2-0. And here we shall see if the men are able to complete the double. Really fast paced, intense stuff right from the get go. ITE with a goal mouth scare there. He survived that one. Long shot for ITE. NTU managed to deal with it. Mohamed Jasli. Just crowded out. It's a nice turnout here as you can see from our camera panning back and forth. Uh, quite a few people have turned up to watch this game live here at the Singapore Polytechnic. They've been treated to some entertaining stuff that's for sure. The men's game much more physical as you can tell from this opening three and a half minutes or so. Breakaway here for ITE. That was number two, Amiru Azri. Bursting down the floor. But unfortunately, nothing more managed to come off that attack. And to you, almost give it away just in front of their goal. That was a nice catch from their goalkeeper, Jared Tan, number 80, to defuse the situation. Couple of shots coming in for NTU there, drawing oohs and ahs from the crowd. Number 17, Fu Jinwei with the most recent attempt. NTU are looking to win their first gold medal since 2016. And the last time ITE won the Floorball Championships was even further back. And this is the road to the finals for both sides. NTU boasts a 100% record. In the group stages, they defeated Tomasic Polytechnic 2-0. They beat SIM 6-2 and RP 7-3. RP eventually were disqualified for fielding three unregistered players throughout the tournament. 
And NTU in the semi-finals edged out SMU 3-2. IT as well are unbeaten in this year's tournament. They drew with SMU 2-2. Beat Singapore Polytechnic 2-0 and thrashed NUS 7-2 and in the semi-finals they just edged out Tomasic Polytechnic 4-3 as we saw in the women's final we can anticipate a close one here in the men's competition as well certainly has looked to be so in the opening exchanges Breakaway here for ITE. What a steal from number 21. And that is the opening goal for NTU. Muhammad Jasli does it all on his own. Made the steal in defense and burst down the floor. And with five and a half minutes gone, it is NTU here who lead ITE IT lose it in a dangerous position. And they survive thanks to a nice reflex save from the goalkeeper. Mohamed Naim in goal for ITE, the number one. Free hit to ITE. They lose it here. ITE can... Oh, and the, even the goal is knocked over. That was a three-on-one situation there for NTU. Who somehow did not manage to double their lead. Instead of scoring a goal, they knocked over the goal. Here come ITE. That's well dealt with by the defense. Slow things down here.
Mohamed Romi Shafiq eventually crowded out. Bodies flying everywhere in this men's final. Five and a half minutes remaining in this opening period. If you're just joining us, this is the IVB Games men's floorball final between NTU who are in red uh, NTU in black, excuse me, and IT who are in red. NTU lead 1-0 for the moment. And what a save that is from Mohamed Naim. Mouth scramble, but Mohamed Naim is able to get that ball under control. Long pass hoofed forward, looking to relieve the pressure off of their defense, ITE. And to you get it back. <laughs> Top shot there from number twenty five, Gerald Chan. Great reflex save by Mohammed Naim to deny NTU once again. That is a second goal for NTU in this opening period. Jero Chan at the second time of asking finds the breakthrough. And with less than three and a half minutes remaining in this opening period, it is NTU 2, ITE 0. Who would have anticipated this? Of course, there are still two periods plus the time remaining here for ITE to try and make something of this game. There hasn't been too much by way of Goma action for the team in red. Let's see if they can conjure something here. Force back for the moment. Long pass finds the man in the middle. So it's number 11, Mohamed. Mikhail Ryan right in front of goal. Tried to turn and shoot. But was deflected by the defender. Here's ITE. The shot came in from an acute angle. And that was another shot. Another try from Muhammad Mikhail Ryan. Well saved though by Jared Tan. Mm. 
it's hard enough for us here at the broadcast table to keep track of the ball which is of a light peach color on the parquet flooring i can only imagine how difficult it must be for the goalkeepers to keep track of the ball movement especially when it's flying at you at speed with that protective mask on with a limited field of vision frustration there from the number nine of ITE Wang Zixian as he fails to control that pass Nice set play from NTU. The shot ultimately coming in from number 70, Lim Tian Hong. Way off target, however. For a moment, NTU thought they were 3-0 up. They were celebrating R. Satish with the final touch, but the referee has pulled that back and instead awarded a free hit to ITE for a foul. But ITE give it away here in the dangerous position. ITE reset. And they've decided this remaining time of this period to play without a goalkeeper. They have put in an additional outfielder. But right here comes Jared Tan back in goal once again. With the clutch of changes made. Very nearly sneaks in through Muhammad Naim's legs. But the goalkeeper manages to make the save. And that closes out the first period of action. What a 15 minutes it has been here in the IVP Games men's floorball final between NTU and ITE. At the end of the first period, it is NTU who lead by two goals to nil. We'll be back after a five-minute break. In the meantime, here is a short message from our kind sponsor, GOMO by Singtel. Want to leave work on time, but can't deal with judgy colleagues? Easy! Dress up as the delivery guy! Want more data? Easy! Add more data anytime! Go GOMO! Introducing GOMO. It's an all-new digital experience. Get a GOMO mobile plan. No contract, no excess charges, fuss-free, great lifestyle benefits too. It's easy to sign up. Get your GOMO SIM card on the same day. It's the next level of freedom. Add data on the go. Chat with us 24-7, anytime, anywhere. So, what are you waiting for? Go GOMO!
Welcome back and thanks for staying with us here on the One Play Sports Facebook and YouTube pages. This, of course, is the IVP Games Men's Floorball Final between ITE in red and NTU in black. After the opening 15 minutes, it is NTU who lead by two goals to nil. ITE on the attack there. Great defense from NTU to defuse that situation. ITE content to maintain their half court set in defense despite the two goal deficit opting not to go for a high press there was Amiru Azri who had won the ball and raised down the floor had a shot blocked as well Mohamed Mikhail Ryan just loses out NTU can come forward again Just like that a smooth passing move sees NTU edge further ahead. 3 0 now they lead. Your goal scorer this time, Sean Toe. What a great start to this second period for NTU. And of course, this means that that was not what the doctor ordered for ITE, conceding a third goal so early on here in the second 15 minutes. Can ITE come back from this? Of course, there still is a lot of time left. Twelve and a half minutes here, still to play, as well as 15 minutes in the third period. Keller's giveaway there by the number 12, Lukmanul Hazik. Unpunished this time.
What a move that was from ITE. But the shot ultimately saved by Jared Tan. Lightning quick counter from NTU. Number nine, Wang Zixian, unfortunately not able. I'm oh sorry, it's Amshar bin Amin. Not able to keep that on target. And just seconds before Amshar's shot, ITE themselves had a great chance to at least pull one back. with numbers forward. They have four here in the front court. What can they make of this possession? High press works out for ITE as they win it here. But they lose possession. And skills from the number 70, Lim Jian Hong. As we have a timeout call. A little bit of confusion on IT's bench. They eventually get their personnel all on the floor. IT get it back and can build once again. Well won by Gerald Chan. Setting NTU away. That's great hustle from Wang Zixian to retrieve possession for his side. Nice shot. Great double save by Jared Tan. Well held up there by the number 88 of NTU. Keenan Montero. Draws the foul. Well, 
as NTU smartly play the possession game. IT get it back. Hook shot comes in from Romy Shafik, saved by the legs of Jared Tan. The NTU goalie has certainly played his part to maintain his side's advantage. IT have certainly done much better since going three goals down. Smack at goal from Lim Tian Hong. Forces a save out of Muhammad Naim. Finally, a whistle is blown and it's in favour of ITE. Mohamed Jazli. Creditor with the foul. And somehow NTU get out of that two-on-one situation. But they lose it and ITE can come forward. Nice piece of skill there from Mikhail Ryan. Couldn't quite get it past the goalkeeper. And down the other end, Mohamed Naim is called into action. Looks like a penalty has been awarded. This is Fu Jun Wei against Mohammad Naim. Great stick work. What skill from Fu Jin Wei. Makes it 4-0 to NTU. So the team in black have scored two goals in each period thus far. First, it was Muhammad Jasli who opened the scoring, followed by Gerald Chan. Not forgetting to mention Jared Tan, who has put in his fair share of work in the NTU goal.
melee in front of the NTU goal. And the team in black get away with possession. IT win it back. They're under pressure here. They can't afford to lose it in this position. They come away. NTU counter-attack stopped for the time being. They will retain possession, however. Just over two minutes remaining in this second period. ITE need a goal back here. They need to get one back at least to stay in this game for the remaining 15. But it's NTU here. Lim Tian Hong very nearly getting himself on the score sheet. Mohamed Naim pulling off a succession of saves. A bit of juggling going on there. That is R. Satish with an attempt of his own. And shots just keep coming in for NTU. The latest one from Lim Tian Hong again. They look the more likely to score the next goal here, NTU. IT in all sorts of trouble. Long shot from Muhammad Jasli deflected out of bounds. Ambitious attempt from him. in the corner broken up by the referee's whistle but that is the buzzer to signal the end of the second period and after 30 minutes it is NTU who lead by four goals to nil we have a final 15 coming up we'll take a short break but before that a short message from our kind sponsor GOMO by Singtel want love but not ready for the commitment easy love your phone want a mobile plan but not the commitment easy go no contract go gomo do you love me finding results for do you love me want to leave work on time but can't deal with judgy colleagues Easy! Dress up as the delivery guy! Want more data? Easy! Add more data anytime! Go GOMO!
Welcome back and thanks for staying with us as the third and final period gets underway in this IVP Games Men's Floorball Final between NTU and ITE. NTU now playing from right to left of your screen in black and ITE in red playing from right to left. The score at the moment is NTU 4, ITE nil. After NTU scored two goals each in either of the earlier periods, your goal scorers are number 8, Sean To, number 17, Fu Jun Wei, number 21, Mohammad Jasli, and number 25, Gerald Chan. First shot on goal of this third period goes to ITE. Romy Shafik with an attempt there. Not on target, however. ITE look eager to flood forward and get on the score sheet as they should be. They have 15 minutes to make something of this match. They need to get an early goal to make things interesting at least. <laughs> Heavy pressure from NTU. Not allowing ITE to have their way. They lose it here, ITE. Gerald Pay winning possession back for the team in black. But here is a foul is called for a clash of sticks. Free hit to ITE. Long pass forward. Mikhail Ryan gets it under control. ITE continue to build. The long shot comfortably saved by Jared Tan. NTU go backwards. Patient stuff from the team in black and of course they can afford to be a hit by four goals. Charles Lim however sending his pass straight out of bounds. Despite their four-goal lead, NTU still employing a one-for-one -one press. Double shot attempt coming in from Thaddeus Tan. Thank you. 
pop shot comes in again from Thaddeus. Oh, it was Fu Jinwei, excuse me, on that occasion. Not troubling Muhammad Naim. IT have to be patient in the build up. NTU's high press giving IT all sorts of trouble. IT trying to return the favor. And a shot comes in. From Anik Siazani. <laughs> Cheeky tap shot from Lim Tian Hong nearly caught everyone unawares. But that was hit straight into the body of Muhammad Naim. is a fifth goal for NTU out of nowhere this time from captain Amsha bin Amin but he is going to get a talking to here from the referee for slamming his stick on the floor in celebration And I'm hearing from the crowd that this is not the first time that Amsha has been won by the referee for such a celebration. But sometimes it is just so hard to contain yourself when emotions run high. And there is nothing more emotionally stimulating than scoring a goal in a final, that's for sure. Mayhem in front of the ITE goal. They eventually do get it away. Possession still with NTU, however. Long shot attempt from Gerald Pay. Seven minutes for ITE to at least get on the scoreboard. Obstruction call on NTU. ITE will get a free hit. It's a bad foul by number five of NTU, Mohamed Kalis. As he sent Romy Shafiq flying out of the court. Fortunately, Romy Shafiq seems to be alright as he's able to get up and continue. But as expected, Muhammad Khalis will have to sit. And so IT will have a couple of minutes with a man advantage. And let's see what they can make of this. 
if they can get a couple of goals back that will make for a very interesting final few minutes here in this third period patient build up by ITE NTU solid in their half court set no gaps just yet the ball was swung into number 14 Anik Sazani but he couldn't make anything of that here is Sazani again and he loses out NTU can break forward prodded out of bounds that is a long shot from number two Amiru Azri way off target ITE struggling to create any clear openings despite their main advantage. Perhaps a chance here. Jared Tan, quick throw, loses it. But the shot from Amiru Azri is ends up in the hands of Jared Tan again. ITE press forward. That is an air ball from Anik Sazani. That is the end of the power play. And to you, back to six players on the floor. Attempted shot from Mohammad El Azaruddin. High and wide. Three and a half minutes to go here in the final. And to you are looking for a six. you lose it in a dangerous position but they managed to get it back and away long pass from ITE is gathered by Jared Tan Clock is running down here. Two minutes remaining in this final. ITE still yet to find a breakthrough. It looks like NTU will 
comfortably ride out this last couple of minutes or will they go for another goal? They have scored two in each period thus far. Each of the first two, I might say. They have one here. In the third. As you can see, the Singapore Polytechnic Sports Hall is packed with people. No doubt. In anticipation of the prize presentation ceremony. And of course, enjoying the action of this final on display. Well saved by Jared Tan. Now it's NTU looking for another goal. And at the second time of asking, it is the captain, Amshar bin Amin, who has his second of the match. And indeed has completed his team's sequence of scoring two goals in each period no slam off the stick this time from Amsha who seems to have heeded the referee's warning from when he scored earlier and that is well and truly game set and match for NTU who will be crowned the IVP Games men's floorball champions as they continue forward looking for a 7th. It is a matter of seconds now. ITE looking to get on the board but Jared Tan has other ideas With six seconds to go, apparently a timeout has been called. Much to the amusement of the crowd around the court. Not quite sure what IT make of that. Six seconds to go before NTU are crowned IVP champions. A reminder for all you viewers to stick around with us as we will bring you the prize presentation ceremony and I will be conducting a post-game interview with the champions as well, that is the men's and women's team captains of NTU. And that is full time as NTU race on the floor to embrace in celebration with their goalkeeper who has 
played a huge part in their 6-0 victory. IT, of course, put up as good a fight as they could have, but ultimately, it was not enough. And as I mentioned earlier, do hang around. We will have the prize presentation ceremony shortly. And I will be speaking to the two captains of the NTU men's and women's teams. In the meantime, here is a short message from the kind sponsors of the IVP Games, GOMO by Singtel. Introducing GOMO. It's an all-new digital experience. Get a GOMO mobile plan. No contract, no excess charges, fuss free, great lifestyle benefits too. It's easy to sign up. Get your GOMO SIM card on the same day. It's the next level of freedom. Add data on the go. Chat with us 24-7, anytime, anywhere. So, what are you waiting for? Go GOMO! Want love, but not ready for the commitment? Easy! Love your phone! Want a mobile plan, but not the commitment? Easy! Go no contract! Go GOMO! Do you love me? Finding results for Do you love me?
Congratulations to Team NUS for clinching the bronze medal in the women's category of this IVP Games Floorball Challenge. They defeated Tomasic Polytechnic in the third and fourth placing match that took place at level 3 early on in the evening. The two finals that you just saw broadcasted live was played at SP Sports Arena level 4. So congratulations NUS Women's once again. And here are your silver medalists in the women's category. Republic Polytechnic, whom you saw were edged out by NTU on our earlier broadcast. Congratulations to Republic Polytechnic on their second place finish. And the 2020 champions of the IVP Games 
Women's Floorball Challenge is none other than the Nanyang Technological University who defeated Republic Polytechnic by a score of two goals to nil. Congratulations to the ladies. I will be speaking with the team captain as soon as the prize presentation ceremony is over. Now, of course, it's the men's turn to receive their medals. This is your third place finisher in the IVP Games Men's Floorball Challenge, Tomasic Polytechnic, defeating SMU 3 2, I understand, in their third and fourth placing match. Congratulations, Tomasic Polytechnic, on their third place finish.
And here are your second place finishers, ITE, who were bested on the evening by an NTU men's team in top form. Congratulations to ITE for their second place finish. And here come your men's champions for IVP 2020 floorball. None other than Nanyang Technological University, the men's team completing the double for their school after the women's team had clinched goal earlier in the evening. Congratulations to NTU. And as soon as they have gathered all their medals as well as the winner's trophy I will be floor side to catch a few words with the captains of both the men's and women's teams do stick around for that
am here with your champions of IVP floorball, both the men's and women's. Yes, I am with both of them because it is only fitting that since NTU managed to do the double. This is Amsha, the captain of the men's team, and this is Wen Lin, the captain of the women's team. How are you feeling right now? Uh, honestly, I just feel very, very proud. Uh, my team stuck to the game plan since uh, the first whistle to the last whistle. We followed the coach's plan. We attacked together as a team and we defended together as a team. We protected our keeper, hence we didn't concede any goals. I'm proud of the team for that. And yeah, we just had fun out there. I just feel very proud as well for the whole team. Uh, yeah, just just very, very proud. Like, yeah. Um, the two sides, uh, so coincidentally, are in similar situations as well. The last time the men's team won IVP goal was in 2016 and the women's team was in 2017. So what does it mean to the school to finally capture goal after a space of three or four years? Um, I think it's just, it just shows that no matter the circumstances, uh, whether or not uh, we won it or we lost it every year since 2016, um, the school, the team, every team that came so far gave their best efforts. Uh, we always trusted the process no matter what. We didn't look back or look down upon our efforts uh, after every loss. We just kept going, kept going, trusted each other and I think today's uh, game for us and the girls as well showed that uh, you know, we never back down from a fight and we gave a good performance and uh, hence the goal. Uh, I just feel that like everyone, like, they played with their heart and that's the best and they played for the love of the sport so I think that's uh, something to something to look forward to, look forward to? No, no no something to really hold on to because this is the NTU spirit and of course as we know in school games uh, squads rotate every year because of students going in and out so what is NTU going to look forward to in terms of preparations for this year's SUNIC uh, I think for this, I answer on behalf of both the guys and the girls team. I think we are very honoured to have a very, very good coach. So no matter the rotations of the players, um, given that our coach Sonia, she stays, um, she always has a system that um, she goes by. And if the whoever comes in next uh, to fill our uh, spots, follows the system and follows it well and do their best, follow the NTU spirit like uh, Berlin said, uh, I think NTU will have a bright future. Uh, furthermore, I think for both our teams, uh, we have very young core. Um, ma majority of them are year ones or year twos, um, so they have a really bright future going forward. So I think um, it's really bright for NTU's future for both the guys and the girls team. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time and congratulations once again. Thank you. Congrats. That concludes our broadcast tonight. Congratulations again to the NTU men's and women's teams for clinching gold. We will be back next on Wednesday for the volleyball finals of the IVP Games. Do stay tuned for that. From now, for the rest of the broadcast team from, N from Singapore Polytechnic, excuse me, it's good night.